45. I think we need a spa day. We need to do a little R&R. &R. We need to unwind. <laughs> We're a little tense this morning. Drew has got it made though. He's live at Knott Springs in Northeast Portland. So we talked last half hour about their three main focuses, health, wellness, and good times. I like the sound of it. And I think they have team building opportunities for local businesses and organizations. We can talk about that in a moment, but let me establish where we are exactly. Where is this not Springs? Well, as you can see behind me, we have downtown Portland just to my back. We are on the east side of the Burnside Bridge inside what's known as the Yard Building, and Knott Springs is located on the fourth and fifth floors of the building. Uh, they are a social club. They do focus on health, wellness, and as they say, good times. And one of the good times you can have here is known as their 10 steps of relaxation. That's what I'm experiencing this morning and it involves the springs themselves. It actually starts, step one is a, an exfoliation shower. Then you step into what's known as the tepidarium right over there. That's 98 degrees body temperature. Feels pretty darn good I'll say. Then you step over to a hotter spring. They call that the caldarium. 104 degrees. And then Gina Neal you get into the cold plunge. That is step four. Uh, Gina Neal is the director of operations here. So I'm going to go into the cold plunge. Let's talk about how cold is cold. It's 54 degrees. 54. Yes. Oh, my foot just hit it a little bit. <laughs> that was quicker than I wanted it to. Oh, look at this guy's in there like down to his shoulders. Do you recommend that? Yeah, absolutely. Go all the way, Nate. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, Ooh, 54 degrees. <laughs> Gina. I like the, uh, the tepidarium and the caldarium were nice. They were nice and warm. This is a little different. Why the cold plunge? Well, it's a stark contrast to the warm and it, and it constricts your blood vessels and it gets the blood flowing and it really helps with recovery after exercise. It's constricting other things as well. <laughs> uh, I noticed if you go to the board here, you have this awesome sketch of the 10 steps of relaxation and the cold plunge is actually steps four, six, and eight. Yeah. Does that mean it's the most important of all the steps? Absolutely. It's all about contrast, uh, cold and hot uh, bathing. Uh, I see that after after step four, uh, step five is is what exactly there? Can I go back in the hotter pool? Yeah, uh, nope. That's the sauna. Oh, well, what is step nine? Go to step nine, Steve. What's step nine? What is step nine? It's the tepidarium, I do believe. <laughs> The tepidarium, oh, yes. I'm leaving this. Back yeah, meet me, meet me at the tepidarium. Oh my gosh, it's, ooh, that is chilly, the cold plunge is. Tepidarium, 98 degrees, how will that feel? Oh yes, that feels good. It feels a lot warmer than 98 degrees. Come back over here and join me, Gina, because I have another question for you. Uh, we're experiencing one element of not springs, but there are other offerings here at your uh, social club. I'll ask you, what are some of the other offerings you have here? Yeah, so we actually have um, the springs where we are right now, um, the spa over there, which has the treatment rooms for massage and cupping. And then down the hall, we have a restorative fitness studio that has Pilates bar, aerial yoga, and regular yoga. And then a floor below, we have a full service gym with personal training and transformative fitness studio, which offers high intensity inter interval training format. All right, we had to wrap it up. So I'll quickly let people know that you can uh, become a member here at Knott Springs or you can purchase a day pass to check it out. Again, locate it on the east side of the Burnside Bridge, right there close to the heart of downtown Portland, fifth floor of the yard building, guys. And we are experiencing 10 steps of relaxation. As I say, back to you. I, I'm going to buy a day Ooh. pass. That's a good I way to start on Monday. <laughs> yes, now, if it only is. we could do that on a Monday and not be here. That'd be oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I bet they'd have some field Are you going to do the, you could do everything. the cold yeah. water though if you go? Are you going to do that? No. Yeah. I don't think right. you have to. I